Alright, hey there, this is Nathan from Tech Savvy, and today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to install the Ubuntu OS on your PC or Mac. Ubuntu is a Linux version operating system and is widely popular because it is compatible with various systems and it is easy to navigate for the average user. Alright, so some things you'll need to get started are RitualBox, you'll need this installed. So just go to the download section and select the version you need. So if you have Windows, select this. Mac OS X, select this. And yeah. And you'll also need the Ubuntu ISO disk. So just navigate to the link that will be in the description below. And then just go to the download tab. Then just select Ubuntu Desktop. Then over here, just select 13.04. And um, to check what, which bit version you need, just go to your computer. Right click on computer and click properties. Then over here, if it's a 64 bit, choose 64 bit. And if it's a 32 or x86, select 32. So I have 64, so this is the version I have downloaded. And now after you have that all these files downloaded, start up VirtualBox and then just click new. Then over here, give it any name you want, I'll just name it Ubuntu, as it automatically selects everything I need. So the type is Linux and the version is Ubuntu. Just click next. Over here, just give it any memory size that is in the green. Don't give it anything that's in the red. But I'll just give it 1024 as I won't be using this as much as it will be using Windows and I'll just click next select create a virtual hard drive now and click create then over here all right here just select ritual box disk image and then just select next then over here you want to select dynamically allocated which will automatically only use the space required and will eat up more space as you need it and just click next then you can just leave the name as Ubuntu and the space you'll need minimum 5 gigs but I'll just give it 12 gigs for this tutorial as I won't be really using this much and just go ahead and click create then you'll need to change a few settings before you start this OS so just go to settings then after that it's loaded just go to system and in processor, processor you want to give it as many CPUs as you can in the green zone so I can give it four and then just go to display now and then over here you want to give it as much video memory as you can and you want to enable 3D acceleration then in storage you'll have to load your ISO so just, just select empty then click on the CD image and select choose a virtual CD slash DVD disk file. Then navigate to your desktop or wherever you've located your ISO and select it. Alright, so now after you selected your ISO, just click OK. And everything's been set up, so just click start. Then over here, just click OK. And if you want to make the window full screen, just go ahead and click F, Control F. Now over here, you can just go ahead and click Install Ubuntu after selecting your language. And I'm not going to download updates as it'll just take additional time. And then just click Continue. And then just click Erase Disk and Install Ubuntu as this is a virtual machine and it will not affect the rest of your computer. And then just click Install Now. And then this is just for selecting your time zone, so just um, select the rough area where you live. 
Uh, yeah, here. And then just select your keyboard layout and language. And then it's already pre selected for me, so I'll just click continue. And then just fill this information out. So I'll just write text savvy. And then just type in a password. And then just click continue. And as you can see, it isn't the resolution isn't full screen yet, but I'll be teaching you how to optimize it for your screen in a few minutes after this installation process is finished. Alright, as you can see, the installation is now complete, so just go ahead and restart your system. Right now, after you restarted your PC, you should be able to see all your Ubuntu icons. And you'll also now have LibreOffice, which is pretty much like Microsoft Office as Docs, PowerPoint, Spreadsheets. And if you click on this home like button, you'll be able to search your whole computer for, uh, for any applications or files. And now to optimize this for screen resolution, just go to view. I mean, sorry. Um, Go to Devices, and then over here, click Install Guest Editions, or just press right Control D. And then over here, just click Run. And just enter the password you created for your admin. And then authenticate it. And you'll see I'll be going through this process in this command prompt like installation program all right so just press enter to close that window once it finishes and then you're gonna have to restart your computer for the effects to take place so just go ahead and click shut down and then just select this and click restart Alright, now once it restarts, you'll see it'll be full screen. And it'll be like you're actually running this on your PC. And you should have full access to all your applications that are pre-installed. Like Firefox, LibreOffice, Amazon, Ubuntu One Music. Alright, that's pretty much it. So to change your background, just right click, click change your desktop background. And select the background you have on your computer. Like this, maybe. Alright, and you can see the effects take place right away. And then just to make it windowed, just right, just right control, just click right control and F, and you'll see it'll be back in window mode. And yep, yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. And this is Nathan from Tech Savvy, and I'm signing out.